Isolative Tactics, MGTAW One of the selling points of MGTAW is the fact that you're able to maintain autonomy over your life. You're able to stay on top of the life that you want to live and spend time with the people that you want to spend time with, or not spend time with the people that you don't want to spend time with. The more I spend time with MGTAW and MGTAW thoughts, the more I realize how important the time we have is. We don't find value in how we spend our time because of who we are. We need to be shown why we should care about our time. I've always felt like time is running out, and I think that's partly because of who I am. But a lot of people need a reason to feel like they need to act quickly. They have to age, see someone else age, and possibly lose something in life. For some men who come to MGTA, a failed relationship or divorce that ends a marriage is the end of an important time in their lives. Big John talks about his 23-year marriage in an interview with Lisa Ling. He came away with the feeling that he was trying to build something, but it just disappeared. For a lot of men, the thing that hurts is the loss of work. Some men stay in relationships longer because they are afraid that if they leave, all their work will have been for nothing. This makes them more likely to have a negative reaction to the MGTA or MRA philosophy. If you put in those 23 years hoping of building something and then it crashes, the pain comes from the knowledge that time is not there to build again. When a divide and conquer strategy is used, and the guy goes along with it to make her happy, the Jenga tower falls even more quickly. The connection is that if the woman is separating you from other people in your life, like by stopping you from having hobbies or groups of friends, she will be more insecure and more likely to act badly. She has a moody personality because she is afraid of being alone. Let's read an email that I got about a guy that cuts off others to keep her, titled, Divide and Conquer. Isolate. I don't know if you've made a video about this subject because I looked through your channel and couldn't find anything. I'm very interested in how a woman will cut a man off from his friends and sometimes even his family when she wants him to settle down. My brother's best friend Mike has been seeing his girlfriend for a year or two and they are inseparable. For example, when they go to see Mike's friends in the country up north, they pretty much just use their house as a bed and breakfast. They leave in the morning to do things together and come back in the evening to sleep, but they barely talk to the people they came to see. Something that has caught people's attention. It had gotten even worse when my brother told Mike he liked him better when he was single. Mike of course, immediately told his girlfriend what my brother said, no surprise there, and now he no longer hangs out with my brother like they all used to. When friends we both knew came to visit, my brother and I went to dinner with them. Mike, on the other hand, went out to eat somewhere else with his girlfriend. When Uncle Mike was asked by our friend's four-year-old daughter if he was coming to dinner, he said no. It's pretty weak to choose someone you see almost every day over a child who sees you as a family but who you only see a few times a year. This seems to happen a lot, based on what I've seen in my life. Some of my friends disappeared when they hooked up with a girl, only to come back like nothing happened when they got dumped. My brother told our friend's wife, when Mike moves in with his girlfriend, you'll ask me how Mike is and I'll say I haven't talked to him in six months. He already sees where this is going. I think one of the best reasons to go your way is that the world will never get better as long as there are so many men like Mike. For every man who has the guts to say no to a woman, 10 others will do whatever she wants to make her happy. The saddest thing is that they will give up their friends and hobbies for someone who is probably not going to appreciate it. Anyway, I don't know whether that would be a good video topic, I am not writing to you with that intention, but merely because I thought you might find it interesting. Being a person who never changed for a woman, and thus never had one around for very long, I am fascinated by such cases. We appreciate the email. It's true, and it's something that a lot of guys in the MGTA community have talked about. I think that this is because biology takes over. You see the person as an extension of yourself, having kids, even if that's not the plan and you're just sexually attracted to her. You'll do anything to keep her, even if it means putting other people out of your mind. The thing is, you don't always know what's going on in those private conversations that are being had. In those conversations, she may be building a wall around him, and he acquiesces to that. He gives her a quiet fear, and when she says, stay, he leaves to keep her safe. Hookery is all too common. A man who wants her approval will only be able to breathe and feel like he can spend time with other people and family if she has something else to do. If she is at work, has to go see family for the sake of an emergency, and doesn't want you to come but she usually expects you to be there when these things happen. She wants you to save her from her crazy and controlling family, which is what she says they are. She will go up against influential people in your own life as well as influential people who aren't directly in your life but might make podcasts, videos, or books that you watch or read. If she doesn't agree with the philosophy of someone that you value, she will try to eliminate that from your life to keep you in line with what she wants you to believe and act out on. 
So, there is a guy I used to listen to a lot when I was first learning about MGTOW. Alex Ansari is his name, and he used to make public access TV shows. He mentioned that during his travels, he was living a nomadic lifestyle for a while with no home base, listeners of his would offer him the chance to room at their place. A lot of those listeners lived with their wives or girlfriends, and Alex and the host's wife or girlfriend would often fight with each other. She was afraid of her freedom of thought because it meant she would be less likely to be in charge. Control freaks don't just want to control where you are physically, but most importantly they want to control where your mind is. By controlling where your mind is your world is controlled and she can keep you domesticated. The free-thinking male mind is often single as Alex's was, and this is why you see situations arise like this quite often.